I'm Marty Mix. I'm the secondary principal and uh, athletic director here at Onway. I also serve as a testing coordinator and guidance counselor role as well um, here at the school. So a few titles for you know a lot of great kids. So. I think I, I'm I'm proud of where I'm at. Absolutely, I think a uh, younger self or an older self would be proud because I I give it what I have. You know, there's a lot of things that I might not be as good as other people at, but I give it my very best, and that's all I can ask out of myself or my kids or any kid for that matter. Um, surprise, probably surprise. I don't have the hair that I thought I'd have <laughs> at this point of the the stage of my game, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. You know, you lose a few hairs and and continue to you know make an impact. It's all worthwhile. Probably my my parents both you know have been big in, inspire uh, inspiring roles for me. Um, probably teacher wise, I had one teacher that really kind of pushed me uh, through the educational route that uh, made me want to be like them. Uh, Charlie Taylor, he um, he served a number of roles educationally, and he's on the um, ending of his career as well. But just um, yeah, probably he would be one of the most impactful ones educationally for me. And then, yeah, my mom and dad, you know, because they've encouraged me through everything. And, you know, they always told me how important education could be for me. And, and I can't say that I disagree with them at all. So turning point, honestly, um, probably when my kids hit this end of the building, um, you know, because when I started, I, obviously they weren't even in school yet, going through a number of different roles in that aspect. Um, but when my kids were in this end of the building, it really, like, caught me hold that I'm on the second half of my career and closing in towards the end of my career. Um, not to say that I'm going anywhere anytime soon, but you know, um, it's just, yeah, that was probably a big turning point when the, when my kids hit the high school end, that was, that was a big, I guess, realization for me. In a couple of years, I'll hopefully still here doing what I'm doing, uh, continuing on the coaching route athletically, being the AD uh, for all the athletic department. Um, as far as the role of the principal spot goes, um, I feel very lucky that I've been doing it for as long as I have, and I would love to keep doing that uh, all the way through retirement. And uh, yeah, just continuing to be pretty much where I'm at right now. You know, obviously my kids will be a little bit more advanced, um, you know, in their education where they're at. and couple years puts me as the father of a couple kids in college and you know my last one rolling through high school so that's kind of where I see myself probably welcoming the kids in that's like a, a huge thing for me I love seeing the kids every morning um, when I'm not here for a meeting or something like that that's a piece that misses every day um, but then I also get to see everybody again at lunch you know a lot of kids are doing their own thing so I don't talk to them all but I'm there if they if they need anything but uh, probably just anytime when I get to interact, you know, that's that's just a huge piece for me. I, you know, I love being a part of what's going on and what's happening with the kids in their lives too. So love hearing their stories and what they get to share, and that's probably my favorite part. Uh, probably picking back, or piggybacking on the last one, um, being able to help students. You know, um, and and I don't know. Some days I'm a student, so sometimes the students are helping me as their student. You know, I'm I'm learning from them. Um, but that's probably my favorite part is being able to interact and, and having that with them. And that's definitely what makes coming to work easy every day. You know, there's definitely days that are more challenging, but being able to interact with it with students and, and being able to help them, yeah, that's, that's a big piece I strive for. Well, realistically, I mean, as far as when I could retire, not necessarily when I will, but I mean, I'm within the last five years, so that's crazy to think. Um, I'll probably work beyond that, I would think, because I'm still going to be relatively young at that <laughs> point. But um, yeah, I've had I've been a lot of great opportunity. I've been very lucky to be able to spend my uh, career here in Onaway, and um, it's just crazy to think that we're closing in on the end of 20 years, being you know how long I've been here. I know. So uh, you know, with that, you know, I'd love to stay, you know, all the way through, you know, all of my kids, and we'll see what happens, you know. The only thing that, and it's not even really a regret, but I do miss teaching. Teaching was awesome. I really enjoyed it. Um, I was in the fifth grade when I taught, so I really enjoyed that age group and whatnot. I enjoyed the people I, I taught with. But when uh, this job uh, presented itself, probably the biggest reason that I decided to take the leap here is being able to be impacting you know, more students and having more kids impacting me too. Not to say that wasn't happening in the classroom, it's just in the classroom I was kind of just with my 25 to 30 and you know I see you know 25 to 30 kids every hour now so you know it's pretty cool. There's a, a wider range of um, you know, students um, uh, with their ages and their grade levels that make it a little more appealing. Um, 
I don't know if I would ever change that, but I do miss teaching, teaching, mm -hmm. and I love going in and, and you know covering for a class here or there because it's never. I mean, once it's in you, it never comes out of you. So I uh, just trying to keep uh, you know for myself, um, be the best dad that I can be for my kids, um, best example I can be for those around me, um, help wherever needed, and be somebody that people are comfortable enough to come to, um, and. Uh, Working out, we're going to be married this this spring too. So I got some marital goals there too. So that'll be this spring. So I got some you know personal goals and professional goals that you know we're striving after. I'm a person that sets a mark and tries to achieve it, but then once you achieve it, it's not like all right, I made it. Now set some new ones too. So just continue to work on some stuff that way, but definitely be somebody presentable for the students in the school, um, staff members if they need anything, be there for them as well. And like I said, be the best dad that I can be. That's good. It's a good excuse to talk with you and whatnot. Um, I don't ever mind uh, having questions answered for students. You know, if it's important to them, it's important to me. So I, I appreciate you coming to me to ask to do it. Thank you so much. Yeah, you got it.